Hey guys, Rick Personas here, back from our video. In this video, we're gonna make this Raven and Crown style drop. So the final result will sound like this. So first we're gonna make the leads, sound like this, bass line, and then the chords. So we're gonna start off with the lead, we're gonna select in the preset. For us at A, we're gonna go for a high square wave. Sounding like this. We're gonna use three unisons. Like this. And we're gonna add a sub bass wave table for us to be. Not an actual sub bass. And we're gonna leave it like this. We're only gonna use that for a modulation of us A. So it's like FM from B and shape it like this. As you can hear, this already gives that kind of signature sound to the lead. Now we're gonna go to the voicing and select my legato and the portamento halfway to get a slide effect. And then we're gonna run NFO1 to the fine tune, select trigger and array to fast. As you can hear, this will get the this will give the lead some more grittiness. Now I'm gonna shape envelope one with low sustain, some release, and a little bit of hold. Now I'm gonna make it sound more punchy by routing envelope three to chorus bits. You can hear this will add a plug to it. Then we're gonna add some noise, the bright white. Sound like this. Pitch it up a little bit. And then we're gonna dive into effects. We're gonna use the hyperdimension with the mix all the way up. Re trigger. Low rate. And the chill around here. Lower the level of noise. Then we're gonna distort the sound with the AS in. Always and mix around 90%. Then we're gonna add some OTT. So it's like model bands and drag the threshold a little bit down. And then we're gonna add a phaser. Just a small amount. Some reverb with a low decay and low size and quite a high mix. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is add some chewing, low cut, a little bit of boosting the high mix. And that's it for lead, so now let's make bass line sounding like this. So we're gonna stick in a preset Go to this acid wavetable. Wavetable position all the way up. Two octaves down. And we're gonna add the oscillator B. We're only gonna use it for FM modulation, so go to spectral. And stack the treadle bite. Wavetable around here. And select FM from B. As you can hear, this will already shape the sound a bit more. It's a bit too much, so it's like a filter. Cut off, quite low, some dry fatness. Then we're gonna shape envelope 2. With really low sustain, some release. And we're out to the cutoff. As you can hear, we're already close to the final sound. So shape envelope 1 a little bit more. Now I'm gonna distort the sound with a zero square with FM2 to the drive. Now we're gonna add some hyper dimension with a little bit of hyper and some dimension. 
Nassau, LTT, Lauren and Heights, a little bit around 60%, some filtering, we're gonna go for level 18. And we're gonna add some drive. And that's it for baseline, so together with the lead, it sounds like this. So we're already close, but there's something missing. Of course, they're really close on the track. So first we have this true pianos, simple piano. And then we have this simple saw square chords, sounding like this. If you want to know how, how that sound is made, make sure to check the previous video. I'm explaining this sound in that video, so if you want to know that, make sure to check it. You have a low cut on it, boosting a little bit of highs. And some OTT. So all together, your presets sounding like this. Quite cool. So if you liked the video, please leave a like. And to see more, and the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next videos.